They say hope is what makes us human. Things will be better tomorrow, we say. Over and over till we die. A year ago, I walked the worlds and killed the dreamer. The human that the root were using to invade Earth. When I left that damn tower, I thought the war was finally over. But the root are still here. Ford thinks we'll find the answer in the old wards. The ones they never heard from. So I'm headed toward Prime, where it all started, hoping to find the Root's last connection to our world. I'm sure things will be better after that. I think we're getting close. <clears throat> Ford said Ward Prime should be just ahead. I don't know how anybody ever lived out here. Root could sneak up and you'd never know. Oh, it's creepy if you ask me. It can mean concrete walls, and rusted towers, any day. Whatever you want. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, you and me. Yeah, Look, not many, not many I, I'm grateful to serve the ward and all, but I just couldn't live like that for long. Someone has to stop the root. Well, that's right heroic of you. Hell, a year ago, I didn't think they could be stopped. Well, whatever the reason, I'm glad you came to us when you did. You know, I, I got a good feeling about this mission. Okay. So, what the heck? Oh, god dang it. Oh. When we get a chance, we gotta stop the session, though. Why? It is registering my controller at the same time as my normal inputs, and I keep seeing the D-pad in the left. So, get, so get rid of your so uncle. I, it's already unplugged. Holy! Will not be a two-headed rat. It looks just like the one in Ward 13, but smaller. According to Ford, Ward Prime should be just up in those mountains. It shouldn't be hard to find. Uh, hey, um. I think it would be a good idea to check in with the commander. You know, let the ward know we're okay and that we found a stone out here. <sighs> okay, okay. I've never used one of these before, so... Hey, this isn't gonna do anything weird to me. That's how it looks for other people. Huh. I mean, I imagine that's how it looked. Okay, one, I'm all the way back here, and, uh, okay. And two, let me just quit out, and, uh, just, you use the checkpoint right afterwards. Oh, God, my Damn, God. damn, nigga. You okay? You have to do it so hard. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, we should probably go in here. War what? 13. You're looking, you're looking for a surprise, Marco. I feel like I'm probably not, but sure. What the heck? Oh, why my eyes look so red? Hey, oh, you made it. Welcome back. Welcome back, Traveler. Oh, uh, Commander. Please, Bo, I keep telling you Ellen is the Commander now. Oh, I I'm sorry, uh, uh, Founder, uh, sir. Just call me Andrew. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll go check on the gates. Is this, is this is for you, his hair messed up for me? Huh. Um... I mean, told me you found it did always crime. look like that, even in the Black recordings, Black trust me. Was still good. Oh yeah, sure. Been a while since I thought about that place. You know, I never put on me getting me out of that cell, though I am grateful. I mean, helping me. Fight I'd given up for so long. Forgot how to fight. But seeing you gave me hope again. Just in space, Marco? Remind no, nope. it just does that. Anyway, which sucks. What can I do for you? It's uh, different. Huh. I was gone. Ain't easy getting to know people. And I hate oh, when this happens. Think I'm either a legend. My hands are not even like near the space. I know. Marco. It just ah oh, sucks. Good work here. 
She's kept folks alive and given them. I gotta know how things are with like her, her the commander. Her. It's so weird. Ellen. Well, I assured her she's still in charge here. I just want to help however I can. But the others don't always see it that way. To them, I'm still founder for the here, but to Ellen, I'm the grandfather that was never there for her, not even. Uh, it's a lot to work through. But we'll get there. Provided. Uh, Shoot, technically the only person in her family who died is her don't mother. Lose your head, traveler. Alright, no, immediately. We must go see this mother root. No, no, no. Come on, come on. I gotta see what the hell she says now. Because there is no way, with him actually in the base, she can't possibly say anything. Nope. Nothing changed. No. Oh. Alright. Where are we headed? Oh, God. Oh, perfect timing. Let's go, boy. Oh, now we got our werewood boy. I guess we split up. You go that way, I'll go this way. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, there's iron. Okay, I was gonna say there's like iron here, but I can't grab it. Wait, this immediately makes me think then, what levels can we get to? Because I feel like they 20. had to have increased the. Doesn't change. What? They didn't increase the level cap? I feel like that's something they should have done. Five finger ring? That's no ring! That don't look like no ring to me! <laughs> Ah, I got hit with the root rot. No, my dog! Ah, I got hit with the root rot, too. Where'd my dog spawn? Where'd my dog spawn? Where'd he go? He spawned outside the map? Oh, those are new shooters. Now that looks like outside of Destiny. The other stuff was pretty unique, but that looked like that's out of destiny. Hold on. I'm not getting away with that one. Where is my doggo? He's gone, oh. Increase, increase unknown melee by 50%. Increase crit damage by 50%. And crit, crit chance by 50%. Not bad, not bad, not bad. This place looks kind of creepy. I'm not gonna lie. Of course it is. It's a freaking... Oh, what the heck is that? I didn't see that. Um, you might want to come over here. Well, nah, I guess I'm shooting this thing then. Think of him like, uh, Clayface was just here. Except Root. Essentially what I just saw. It was Root Face. Root Face? Jesus Christ. Yeehaw, partner! What is with the southern drawl? Listen, just because you're in Delaware and somewhat in country region does not mean you can start whipping out no southern drawl. Hell, even I'm hardly allowed to do that, and I at least was in North Carolina for a few years. Aw, <laughs> oh, no! It's those who resist bullets. Apparently now they could literally only resist one bullet when it comes from this rifle. I will take that. That is for Dodd, dang sure. I'm expecting something to be like super expensive now though. Because we've just had so much time that we could have potentially accumulated scrap. They're gonna be like, alright, well... Spending, or spending on upgrading like different sets of gear and stuff just to be able to switch out. I mean, I don't know. I like my gear. Like, I'm probably gonna keep my armor set that I have for... Probably this entire DLC, just like I did for the entirety of the game. The heck was that? I hear like Farmer Jones in the background. Who the heck is that? Somebody sounds really angry. Who say that? Yeah. Oh, what the heck are you? Dude, dude, what the heck? Yeah. What? What? Uh, what? what? Wh why? What? Why are there mole men here? 
Why can they speak English or at the very least sound like old Farmer Jenkins yelling? I'm about to say, get off my lawn. I mean, I know rats could cook, but god dang. I forgot we now have to start looking for notes and stuff like that again. Nice shooting text. Oof. I feel like I'm playing Dead by Daylight. Why? Um, well, basement for starters. There's also a key that we're going to need. I'm assuming that we cannot use the War 13 Master Key. Shame. Enemies feel like they're easier to defeat than they are in adventure mode. What does this area even scale to? Is scale to beginner? Like, it can't. Possibly. Like, I feel like we're playing a sequel. This feels weird. Because, like, it's just like Destiny 2, just like, after after everything that we did, they're just like, and now- Oh, I'm out of bullets. You know what? Go get him, doggy. What would a tome be doing in a desolate place like this? Because technically the tomes of knowledge are just like Eldritch knowledge by a star on the trait. So what is actually in the tomes is the question. Like, are they supposed to be actual normal books that like just have survival stuff in it? Is it supposed to be like an actual ancient Eldritch book? based around the root and stuff. Like, what are they? Oh, they throw bombs! And also... Yeah, that guy. Yeah, we've seen him before. Also, you took all the... Ammo! I have none! Ammo, some ammo. Here, ah. hold that then. Why should we my ass? Technically, your shoulder. I don't have Heart Seekers ring on, so you're lucky. Oh, well, I guess that's just the way out. Seriously, I'm just like, this is so weird. Am I in the stealth section of like Modern Warfare 2? Like, what's going on? And we have a key that we have to use on that basement area. I'm wondering what the heck and where the heck we're gonna get that. Doggo faded behind you. I'm very aware. I turned around to see it, unfortunately. Alright. Time to... Uh... Shit, I don't know what fucking time it is now. This don't look so good. <laughs> Ward Prime. You know, I expected there to be a bit more build-up before we actually got to Ward Prime. I didn't think they'd just say, all right, and now you're here. We didn't start the fire. It technically isn't a fire yet, so I hope to God we did not. Don't insinuate there will be fires. That would be even worse. Where are you going? I have no bullets! The hell are you? Get back here! Can't shoot it. It's obviously corporeal. This is so fucking shoot tricky. at everything you see. Why we send the dog after it? If the dog attacks it, then we know it's bad. If not, then we clearly don't. Clearly. Ah, oh, shit. There's another... I was mid-opening a door. You scared the shit out of me. It, everything just went dark. Oh. Great. It's like SCP, but worse. At least in this, I didn't have to put on 3D glasses. No, we are doing no damage. He's got one hand, Marco! I have to tell me twice. He just healed. 
So much. Hit? Yes. I don't think revive me, but shit. He just healed again! Like, once you get him down again, could you revive me? Like, should I mail him? Dude, revive me! Like, shit spawning I'm just, in! I'm just legit actually trying to figure out what the hell I do. Shit, I killed him right as soon as. Clearly not doing something right at that point. Doggo. I'm gonna check up here. Uh, I suppose. Door seems to be locked from the other side. There's a fuse box we have to get to. We have to get a fuse, and there's a fuse box. We can turn on power in this place. Great to hear. The we have to go into that there? place again to. I feel like we have to go into that place to attack to get in there. There's something here. Yeah, we gotta attack that. We can't attack unless we go to that place. Computer offline. Uh, what? Hold on. There's a board here. There's no power. No, no, no. Like, There's a the chest kind of board here. Board game board. B2. No, it's no, it seems like a scramble. A scrabble. I mean, like maybe it's a, maybe the it's a world's cold. tiniest scrabble game. That's what I'm today. trying to figure out. Alright, I'm gonna go downstairs then, since this is the basement key. It's the homestead basement key, like, we gotta go back to the homestead area. Oh, oh god, yeah, you're right. Shit. We got the fast travel anyway, we can go there after. Well, there's nothing else we could do besides, like, activate go the corporeal thing. Go back into that place! Yeah. Watch out! Here they come! Okay, so you activate it. I'm gonna go over to the door and try to do that. No, 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 no. Don't leave me. I'm the one to activate last time. You haven't seen the effects of when it gets activated. You can try that this time. Uh, I suppose you're right. Let me get to the door first. You said that after I pressed E. And now we run. Okay. I was hoping to lure him into this power room. It has not worked. Oh, shit. Right? So now we can probably open the basement from the other side. Yeah, there's one down here. Nice. Always fun. I don't think we can kill those. I'm gonna check what's in here. Oh, it's just a crate. I found the heart we gotta destroy. Um, don't just say that so casually, like... Oh god, we got a log book. It's so tiny! Oh, why would you do that? I could actually read the other ones. I physically have to hit the read button on this. I cannot see what the fuck that says. Uh... February 18th, 1962. Every time I read Clawbone's passages, I find something new. Sometimes I think the runes may actually be changing, though photographic evidence has proven to be as ridiculous as it sounds, only my understanding is evolving. Author of the runes intrigues me. It speaks as though his people are mortal. At first it interpreted as a spiritual sense, like heaven or Hindu, or concept of Nirvana, but the stories he tells are not of souls that moved on. It speaks of living beings carrying out mundane yet utopian lives. They're real. What if these writings spent in literal? What if his people who found a way to send Clawbone's words across barriers between worlds found a way to elude death itself? Sounds fantastic, even as I write it. The possibility can't be overlooked. If so, then this world may still exist, Clawbone may still exist, and he writes of the realms his people cannot enter. Quarantined by powerful guardians of ancient codes. I believe our world is similar be quarantined, hence the runes rather than a personal visit. What if we could reach him? What if we could speak to Clawbone himself? Dr. York Hasgard. I need you to do me a solid. What is that? I don't like whatever it is. That's for darn sure. Like, I found, like, the next one. And I found a door we have to get into that I think may or may not have the force. Yeah. I also found a door, another door that has the tome locked behind it. 
Like, I need you to come here, activate that. And then I need to, like... Huh? Go, come... Oh. So, where are Let you me... going? I found the heart. I found the next heart. I just need you to... I'm Let me know when, when you're gonna you... activate. I'm here. No, if you, you're if you here. I'm activating it now. All you gotta do is shoot it, right? So... That was quick. I just ran straight here and I didn't even... How did you get there? Wait, how do you... Oh. Through here? Okay. Alright. That's great and all. This is where the Dreamer was. With... Clearly has been destroyed. Or something. Bathroom. Ward Prime Maintenance Key. That'll probably open up quite a few things in. That's good. Marco, you don't follow the concept of destroy everything. I'm more of finding the concept of looking around for everything first. Try and get a mental map of the area. Man, this is so strange. I'm glad this isn't really like a fight area. This is actually more like, you know, War 13 and all that. But still, it's so strange. It quite possibly is a fight area. Like, you we said have to fight it was... all those things. What was the name of the key? Maintenance. Also, does it, you, you, you found this light bulb up here? In the stairs again. This is some knowledge and stuff up there that you can listen to. Like any script I've ever seen, Commander Neville believes they are of extraterrestrial origin. But I believe oh, I found the maintenance area. From a That's good. Much much older than any we have yet known. Deciphering them proved difficult at first, but I believe I have found a pattern, and I am working on a lexicon. The others do not see it yet. Some even claim Jeez. I am making things up, but I see clear elements of logic in the runes. Uh, a story well, I found I the heart. The Hold on. Hmm. Let's see what this is. Uh, I'm certain the runes are not of Earth origin, but if so, they represent a proto-language older than any known civ human civilization. Elements of Egyptian hieroglyphics alongside variations of Alamite and even Sumerian logger <coughs> logograms? What? This is a linguistic marvel, evidence that these languages are not isolates, but have originated from a single source common to all language. As a result, Ciphering the runes is just a matter of time. Possible, if not trivial. There's also evidence that the author of these runes is very old and advanced for their time. May have been able to date maybe unable to date the structures themselves, but I suspect they're tens, perhaps hundreds of thousands of years old. It goes against everything we thought we knew. We must learn more. More from Hasgard. Can you not activate those while I'm like not even close? Also, where the heck I didn't did you mean go? to, because like I just keep. I'm not. Listen. I'm, I'm. Put a pointer I'm to where listening. you are. I don't know where you're at. Like we. Like you gotta help destroy some. Where the hell stuff is too. the? Where did you go? Did you go through the fog? Yeah. Where was the thing? The box. We have to. Where's the tape? I'll, 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 I'll point out the tape afterwards. We get ready to activate it because we gotta destroy. Let's first mark out what we gotta destroy. Because we gotta destroy this heart. Okay. The heart down there. Uh huh. And, and there's the one up there. There's one all the way up here, but I'm not sure yet. I haven't seen one quite yet. There is. Well, fuck. Well, when you stay all the way up here, I'll go down and activate the heart myself. You're calling it a heart for what reason? Because it looks like a heart once you look at, like, look at it once we switch dimensions. Oh, so? Oh, it's one per.
All right, let's do this. Yeah, just dodge that dude. Oh, tapes in that room. There's still another one. That we have to do. Yeah, but activate the thing again. Alright, let me know when you're ready. Uh, whenever you are. was the center of a mass murder suicide earlier this year. These incidents. Aw, oh, seriously, even the tapes are skipping? God dang it, that is a horrible mentality to have, and probably got all of us killed. That's great. Oh, definitely. That's like a very stupid mentality. You don't go in thinking, well, if everything goes to shit, at least. It either goes to shit or it doesn't. Well, I mean, that is technically how everything works. Usually it either goes to shit or it doesn't. Alright, good. We're on the other side of the medical bay from downstairs. I figured we can open- the lights are on. Well, what can we open? We don't have the key card. You can open the key card door, but we can't actually open the thing. We can't- ah! Oh shit, is that a lock? Got it! Yeah! I am smart. S-M-A-R-T. What lock? I opened up the lock here. Check that out. By shooting it from the other side. Ah! <laughs> Ring of Honor? You got everything up there? I'm out! I thought we were gonna have to open this door. Hmm. The door's jammed here. How would I unjam this door? Because that's where the key card is. How would I go about unjamming it? Oh. Oh? And Ring of Honor increases the, your health by 10, stamina by 10, and reduces your armor encumbrance by 10. The heck? <clears throat> well, shit. Oh, I should probably check all these, I just realized. Dr. Magnus Schlim Schleiermacher? It's ridiculous that they made us duplicate our notes in these electronic boxes. But the power fails. How can these computers possibly maintain data integrity longer than... Yeah, it failed. <laughs> so that, that it would explain that. April 15th. Corrupted. Air corrupted. August 13th. New procedures may have produced fruit. Dreamer in Ward 3 has shown increase in body temperature and brainstem activity, indicating a possible connection to... Sorry, it's not well and have no interest in scientific discovery at the moment. However promising, this afternoon I fell asleep while monitoring Catherine and had such terrible dreams. Conflagrations, cryptids, and terrified voices of the damned. Looking at terror, my heart pumping madly. I was in that awful state that learned of something worse than any nightmare. They have closed the borders within my beloved Berlin. Still a family there. They're hoping to enter West Germany any day. Perhaps even be brought here. Now the communists are building a wall. 
goddamn wall. Do they fear their own ideology There's so much they'll allow none to question? None to choose? I weep for my people. I thought this kind of evil ended with Hitler. Perhaps it's inescapable. Evil does not originate from a single leader. It lies in all of us, waiting for permission to be expressed. Humans are both an elixir and a plague. Our own worst nightmare. Perhaps a war didn't go far enough. Perhaps anthropogenic extinction is the only solution. Only possible peace. <sighs> Forgive me. As I said, I'm not well. Should return to my work at least these dark these dark thoughts drive me insane. Over a year, I was so deep in my experiments I had forgotten to update this blast box. Anyone job to even read these entries? Yes. It feels like an empty like I'm typing into the void. We must do as we're ordered. For record capturing showed little change, although our data collection methodologies may exhibit some bias. Nightmares continue and a wave of Melancholy has washed through the entire research team. The world is on fire, it seems, and we feel its effects here. Wars broken out in Vietnam, Africa, and Cuba. Soviet influence can be felt in every country, Brunner in particular. It has spoken many times of our imminent nuclear death, even to the point of wondering whether that is the best way to end the world's pain. For myself, I have neither the heart nor inclination to argue. And all of us have been affected by the tragedy that occurred in World in War II. So I don't know all the details, but the dreamer Gaston appeared and just apparently destroyed millions of dollars of equipment, overpowered two soldiers and several good scientists, and shot himself through the eye. No one could tell me whether he was awake or aware of his actions, but they will not let me see the dreamer's records. Ward is locked up tight until an official investigation can be formed. But I must know, did Gaston see what I've seen? Did he gaze into the abyss? See humanity spread thin and find it lacking? Dark time to be alive. One wonders how much longer humanity should even be alive for. I finally opened the door. Aha! So you got the key card then. That area. It was through using a computer. I figured such as much. One. That's why I was going through the computers. Oh boy. I call laboratory! Oh! Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Jesus! I'm gonna need you to get by one of those heart things. Like, let me look. Well, fuck. Alright, well, since you're down here, you get to stay here. Good luck. Bye! Wait! No, I'm good. Later. You got this. I'm got to leave soon anyway. Shit. Then I won't be able to access it anyways. Alright, was gonna say that this door is uh, open up here, apparently. I have access with the key card as well. That leads us back to the checkpoint. So, are you ready then? I'll ready as ever, B. Good luck then. The problem is this dude is up here. Oh, dodging does not actually dodge that. Oh, that's not good. Dude, why you send me back in? Uh, there's three down there. Dude, I wasn't ready. The second one, I was trying to go into the first fucking first room. The different room have different shit like that. Wow. Like a like, you really, like, fuck you. Like, seriously, I still haven't checked the first room. Uh, I would hope you wouldn't check any of the rooms without me, because fuck you, why would you check all that stuff while I'm not even there? So that I can't even see what the hell is even in those rooms. Stuff like that! It's not like I'm looking at any of the entry logs and shit. Well, I didn't even see that, so... Yeah. yeah! Fuck you, that's why I got it. Also, there's a fourth knowledge thing if you want it. Dr. Yurik Harsgard, April 10th, 1964. I am leaving for Ward 13. The experiments of Ward Prime have proven informative. But. I guess he did go to 16 after that. In the other wards. 
Starting with subject 2409, Dr. Itzaso says the dreamer has successfully connected the first of our dreamers to do so. Let us see. From Ward 13, I will also be able to visit the runes more easily. I learn more every even reading the same passages over Jesus. again. I see connotations and meanings I did not notice before. As if we will continue the dreamer projects, tuning them. I hate that skips. Until one day. Well, so do I. I can feel him. He whispers to me. I must speak with him. Oh, Jesus. He has the answers we need. If we can but find the putting in the thing. What thing? Ah. Serenity. It's not like we haven't seen the seen the action even, before. You say that like I have. No. Yes, we have. Let's see like what it does. What thirteen? No like shit. But what will it open? Like you're gonna stop and wait until it actually I get up there to see what it even opens. You need to put in a password over here. That would make sense. Wayscoff's new game. Figured out his trick to remembering his security code. Clever three letter rather than six numbers. But uh, he really thinks it'll pass security inspection. No one familiar with the storage room and alphabet could figure it out. I did. Though I suppose I was looking for him to do something like this. How hard is it to remember simple code? Part of me wants to report it. But I have to explain this ridiculous system. See if anyone else catches it first. Now you have that. I'm gonna go back downstairs. Finish reading off all the logs I fucking can. Why would you not wait to s for me to see something obviously like that? The hell are you even looking at? You're opening things that I haven't seen before. Jesus. Oh. Well, that's not good. We're gonna have to kill that, obviously. Oh yeah, that's gonna be my complete shite. Word Prime Online. After weeks of mm -hmm. experimentation, the first world stone is online. Watchers Katrin is undergoing preparations now. Under Dr. Hasgard's direction, several specimens of the original world stone are taking various locations. Or Prime will be the first to connect a human subject to the stone, record what she observes, making history. Other worlds never dreamed it possible, not even when forced to work on the Nazis' abominable machinations. Being a fraction of the experiment works, my colleagues in the U.S. rocket program turned yellow with envy. The moon? <laughs> it's an empty rock. Discover resources and people just undreamed of. You know, change the worlds. A breakthrough. Determine that the Watcher's inability to connect with the World Stone is related to activity in the prefrontal cortex. Essentially, her consciousness mind is defending itself against what it perceives as falsities. Work around the shortcomings, she'll be kept under sedation so the brain's natural safeguards cannot interfere with the process of connecting to the stone. Recommended the same procedure be used in the newly opened Ward 2 and 3 as well. Watchers will no longer be able to speak with us. We can see what their subconscious minds see through modern imagery techniques. In effect, we could see their dreams. I should just start calling them dreamers instead. Ward 13 final report. Ward 3 is burned. The emergency oxygen tanks caught flame and exploded. No survivors, but initial reports indicated the fire started in the dreamer room. Hasgard requested I be present when reviewing the tapes, so I could either enter the facts here. Dreamer was shackled. All dreamers have been, says Gaston. He didn't wake, but he strained against his metal bindings and even bent one of them. The video was in black and white, but there was a clear glow across the dreamer's skin. Tents rushed to wake him, opening a valve to give the dreamer more oxygen. That was their mistake, or their blessing. As though the dreamer were breathing fire itself, oxygen burst into flame at his lips and spread up the tube to the tanks against the wall. The video went white, then black. Then there was nothing. He reviewed the explosion a few times, progressing frame by frame. Tents didn't have time to react, then less than a second the conflagration obscured everything. Hasgard saw nothing more in the flames, and I didn't draw his attention to it, performing only a job for which I had been summoned. But I saw... him. For one frame only, there in the flames was the face of the abyss itself, the dragon from the dreams. And he saw me too. I think I found out the code. 
Okay, you found the storage room? No. I just tried plugging it in, going where just are trying you? to figure out. In the room. There's only one room with the puzzle, and we'll try it right now. I'm just following the star, at least going from right to left. Benny? That's at least I can think of like the best possible word. What? Hold on. Benny! B Benny? And Y. Benny. I'm just gonna follow with the star because I feel like this one will slid down for the Y. Is that it? Ah! So what'd you type? Two so four one three five one. Two four one three five one. With a machine pistol? Okay, that does not look like a machine pistol. What the heck? How does it even... I mean, like, I get how it should work, but it shouldn't work where it automatically fires like that. So again, how did you find that out? I went, like, for the top, like, they're going from, like, left to right. To B and Y. It's the only one's going right. So two, four, and I just see the star at one. That makes, like, no sense, but okay. Ah. Bruno took his own life last night, February 2nd, 1963. He's alone with Katrin, a thing most of us feared to do since we began sharing our nightmares with each other. Final notes contain incomprehensible formulas, runes both like and unlike the original world stone, sketches of horrific monsters looked all too familiar, and these words. Cessation is equality, serenity among ashes. Catherine's dream records show nothing as always, and her shackles remain secure. She didn't wake like Gaston. Yet Brunner saw something. Saw what all of us in Ward 1 have been seeking, yet not been brave enough to face. Is it courage that he took his life, or a weakness that took no others with him? Hasgard requested Brunner's notes for analysis, but I have not told him our dreams. I told him the beast in the void, waiting and watching. I told him I recognized Brunner's final words, splattered in his own blood, but also whispered in my dreams and etched in my flesh. Cessation is equality, serenity among ashes. Now there are none who read this infernal machine, or if you do, know the truth as well as I. For peace begin, humanity must end. Prime report from Ford, February 7th, 1963. Ward 1 has been shut down permanently sealed due to some kind of contagious effect that spread through the research team. Source is unknown, but the dreamer was found dead. A few surviving personnel have been quarantined and moved to a psychiatric facility for further testing and rehabilitation. Any Ward Prime personnel knows the signs of reinfection, no matter how small, must report it to their superior officer immediately. Given tra the tragic events in this ward, close retaliation of the those events to the dreamer projects, I've expressed my misgivings about initiating new dreamers in other wards. Don't know enough about these world stones and what we do know to induce more caution than it has. So far, Dr. Hasgard and Commander Neville have ignored my misgivings. For what it's worth, let the record show I was against the whole damn thing from the start. Yeah, that is what his journals reported. I suppose we should kill this thing first. Though, what we should really do is probably touch the stone first. Ow. And boop. You're hitting me with that! God dang it. Oh. Wisdom. A portal? Well, shit. Elemental damage. I'm not too concerned with that. Huh. It's a portal to what I assume is the ice world. I didn't say we should travel to it right now. You can come right back! 